Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and in this video lecture we are going to talk about Annelida. Okay? Annelida. Okay? So, Annelida is a phylum of invertebrate. Okay? So, first of all, the first thing that we are going to talk about is the general characteristics. Then we will be talking about the different organ and systems and then finally we will be talking about the example. So, let me write these points down. First of all, uh, characteristics. Okay? Characteristics. Then the second thing that we'll be talking about will be the uh, organ, organ system, and the third thing we'll be talking about uh, example. Okay, these are the three things. So the first things first, uh, the the characteristics that we want to talk about. Let me take a color here and put it here. Uh, so characteristics number one. So the first thing is that they have organ structure, organ system not actually organ structure but they have organ system the second feature is that obviously they have bilateral bilateral symmetry in their body the third important feature is that they are triploblastic because we know that uh, from the platyhelminths onwards everyone is triploblastic the extra feature that they get here which was absent in uh, roundworm or ascalmins is the Silom or body cavity. Body cavity. They have fully formed, fully formed body cavity which was absent in Askhelminths earlier. Okay, so they have this fully formed body cavity. So these are some important features. Other than that, is that their body is heavily segmented. Okay. So what I can tell you here is that let me write body is segmented the easy way to remember all this uh, phylum is to see their pictures so we have this this uh, structures as annelida you can clearly see that they have uh, this body which is heavily segmented at this point of time here their body is heavily segmented let's bring it in here let's take a different color okay let's take a blue color okay body is heavily segmented and you can see in every single body segment there is a foot attached okay so known as parapodia so they have parapodia attached parapodia attached to the single body segment every single body segment okay and they are also covered they are covered with cuticle structure okay they are covered with cuticle which is secreted by the epidermis of their body now regarding their circulatory system yes they have circulatory system and they have a closed circulatory system till the last type of organisms last phylum we don't have any circulatory system so this one has a circulatory system and it is closed circulatory system okay so now let's talk about the different organ structures that they have okay organ systems that they have so first of all they have complete digestive system complete complete digestive system second thing they have a respiratory system as well respiration and how they do respiration they do respiration with the help of their skin gills and even parapodia the third important organ structure is that the nervous system let me write about nervous system now what they have in the nervous system is that a pair of ganglia pair of ganglia as their nervous system okay so they have double ventral nerve as well as lateral nerve cord and the fourth one what other system we left up with excretory system sorry let me read excretory system excretory system is that they use 
nephridia okay nephridia is very primitive structure of nephron nephridia so earlier came as a proto nephridia the nephridia then finally turned in, uh, ultimately into the nephron that means in kidney structures so excretory system nephridia fine and the final and which is also very very important feature is the reproductive system or reproduction how they do reproduction because again in this case uh, they are hermaphrodite or separate sexes so they have this three option they have male they have female two different sex as well as they have a combined hermaphrodite hermaphrodite can be capable of producing egg and sperm altogether so they have all this type of variations okay male female as well as hermaphrodites okay so their fertilization pattern is external they have external fertilization means the fertilization even takes place outside of the body okay remember that so these are the organ systems of annelida now we will see the examples and we clearly see the picture in here that is earthworm is one of such example let me write it here earthworm example of annelida bloodworm bloodworm is another example neris is another example so let me write it neris n e r e i s which is also known as sand worm so again they still look like worm right because they are crawling and they have all this body segmentation and everything like that and they also have example like paddle worm the name is ketopetrus and they have hirudinaria they have hirudinaria and what is hirudinaria this one hirudinaria which is simply leech or cattle leech so cattle leech earthworm sandworm paddle worm these are all examples of annelida i don't feel like this is an example but these are the two pictures that i'm uh, i must show to you okay so these are all the examples and remember the parapodia that they have they have the parapodia for their movement which is connected to every single body segment uh, that helps in their motility and also helps in the respiration parapodia has also a role in the respiration as well okay so uh, that is kind of an overall idea about annelida phylum if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that thank you